Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to a brand new Path of Titans quick little update video today. We have a brand new mod or playable mod to showcase to you guys and that is K23 Creatures. This is aliens in Path of Titans and this is one hell of a crazy mod. So, firstly, we have the Garzul because this mod has a bunch of awesome creatures. We've got the Garzul first, which has one species and I'm pretty sure it's only got one skin as well however this is an incredible looking creature and has some really cool sounds with it so let's go ahead and have a look at the Garzel shall we and have a look at this creature in general I want to go over everything to do with it so this is a semi-aquatic creature this is on the same body plan as Suko Mimus I'm pretty sure and so it's you know going to be very similar to that but look at this thing it is a beast it looks so cool and imagine this thing swimming towards you coming after you coming up from the depths and trying to kill you this would be terrifying however this guy is really cool so this creature has two attacks it has two bite attacks it has the standard sarco like bite and then it has a poison bite which uses half of the stamina on this creature, which is a lot, of course. Then next, let's go into the sounds. By the way, look at the animation on the neck. It's so cool. And yeah, well, look, let's look at the sounds. So this is the roar. Definitely unique sounds for this creature. Now the love. And there's a cut off there, but it's okay. The aggressive. You can see that it uses the same animation set as the Suko. You can say that it's on the same rig. Now the alert. See, it cuts off a little bit there as well, which is really weird. Then we have the low roar. Which is very similar to the Suko's roar. Then we have the, uh, the shake. Very nice and fluid shake there. You can also see that this guy has Sarko tail physics as well. And then, let's go to the stretch. That's the exact same as the Sarko stretch, or Suko stretch. Then we have the look around. The exact same as the Suko look around. There is some clipping issues with the mouth and the way that speedily turns around. Then we have the this one as well, which is the scratch. Obviously, it's the same as the Su Sar Sukos. So let's have a look at the awesome little skins for the Garzel. We have the default skin. We have the Star Flecked skin, which is kind of nice. I do like this one. We have the Clownfish skin, which is uh, very blobby in a way. I obviously do believe you can switch it up, make it orange and blacks, and now it looks a lot better than, you know, how it was before with the black neck skin which is a very unique and look nice looking skin with greens oranges blacks whites and browns then we have the butterfly skin which is probably my favorite skin out of the roster of skins here look at that the blues just blend so well with the whites the purples the oranges and the blacks and then we have the eye spot skin which is very similar to the default skin in a way or is it uh, no it's not no it's not but yeah that's a very good looking skin this is the Dozy. Now this uses the same animation set as the Deinonychus, which is pretty cool. So actually no, this is a Struffy animation set that the Dozy uses. So all the animations and sounds are the same as the, the Struffy, so we're not going to really look at them. As you can see, this is basically just a Struffy, but it's a very nice and weird looking creature. Same rig as the Struffy, but it's a nice looking creature to that is you know different to the the Struffy in a way so we have a bite attack and we have the foot stomp attack which i can't do but it's the same as the Struffy's. now let's have a look at the skins for this weird looking boy so we've got the default skin we've got the spot back skin which is very similar to the default skin and then we have the lateral skin which is probably the best looking one and that is the Dozy. Next up, the next dinosaur we have is Jydreen. I don't know how you say that, but this is based on the Utah Raptor. So the Jydreen, I've definitely messed that up, has the same animation set as the Deinonychus. As you can see, and it runs just like the Deinonychus and puts its arms out and everything. It's, this is pretty much on the same rig as Deinonychus. It has a bite attack like Deinonychus, but that's pretty much it. 
it's a pretty cool looking animal. Look at it. I really think this is a really interesting looking boy. Definitely one of the favourites out there. And it's, it's a weird one. It's very weird. And maybe this thing will be able to fly in the future once they add flying mechanics to the game. Let's have a look at the skins for this creature really quickly. And overview them. So we've got the default skin. We have the goose skin. I don't know where the goose is in this. The owl skin. Don't know where the owl is in this. And then the freckled skin. These two very, uh, these look very similar, of course, but I do like them. I think they have very nice skins. And that is the name that I cannot pronounce. My favourite creature is next. The Erogen. This is an absolutely big, bad and chunky boy. And I cannot wait to show you guys this one. Definitely one of the fan favourites in this roster. And it's definitely one of the ones that I... I'm really excited to see in the game. Now, there was an orange skin for this boy, and it's gone. Right, well, this is the Erogen, and this is a very cool... This is probably my favourite one, and you'll see why. The Erogen is a very cool-looking boy. It's got a Diplocarlus head, and it's kind of like a semi-aquatic herbivore, in a way, I'm pretty sure of anyways. Uh, we can test that out right now with water right here. So it's got the Ceratopsian charge headbutt attack. Then it's got the rear kick attack. So it's like Storaco. So it looks like this is not a semi-aquatic. Because it can't swim that fast. However, this is a big, chunky boy. And it, you know, I think it would have fit as being a semi-aquatic. But oh well. This is my favourite because of its raw attacks. Now imagine you're in the fall in a fog and it's just you online and then you hear this or you hear this one the fact that it changes its pitch is terrifying to me it reminds me of siren head then we have the love call very nice then we have the aggressive Very nice. Then we have the alert. Very not so alerting. Low call. Then the shake. And then we have the stretch. Same as Storaco. And then we have the look around. You can see that this is on the same rig as the Storaco. You can tell by some of the sounds, especially in the look around sounds. You can kind of hear the Storaco low mumble there. And then, of course, we have the question mark. Which is a very cool little sound. So this is the Erogen. Definitely my favourite out of this roster. But let's go ahead and have a look at the skins for this. So, the skins for the Erogen are very cool in my opinion. And I cannot wait to show you guys it overall. So... We have the default skin, which used to have orange, but doesn't anymore. Then we have the Hercules skin, which is absolutely incredible looking. Then we have the carpet skin. And finally, the potato skin, which is the best one because, you know, it best suits me because I'm a huge potato. <laughs> but yeah, those are the skins. That is the mod. Let me know your thoughts about the K23 Creatures mod that just came to Path of Titans. Let me know your opinions on this mod in the comments down below. This is Aliens in Path of Titans. Now, I'm not sure whether to add this to my server because it's not compatible with mobile. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out this mod and play it on, you know, single player or if they have a server. And other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you are new, feel free to like and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.